Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus is Lord. I think this is my first video for October. I'm not sure. Oh, glory to God. So I want to explain, you know, the gospel is out. As of September 23rd, 2015, the gospel is out to every nation, language, tribe, and people. And God has sent someone to every nation, language, tribe, and people. The radio waves. The internet. High definition TV by way of satellite access. Many people out there ordered direct TV in the remote region of Colombia. And when they got their package of 200 channels, there was one Christian channel in there. Just saying. But one reason, months ago I was watching Renee M. And she said the rapture is going to happen on September 23rd, 2015. And I was like, how could she set a date? That's wrong. And I was praying. I was seeking God. And I watched these other people who were saying that, you know, the favorable day of the Lord or favorable time of the Lord up until that date. I thought, well, they're not really saying anything. They're just saying that the favor of God is going to end on that day and the darkness, the time of darkness begins. That's something that happens... <laughs> You know, well, you don't see it. You can't stand there and say, well, I don't see the sun still shining. They're talking about in the spirit, dummies. So here's the thing. When I saw that Renee M video where she was saying the rapture is going to happen on the 23rd, I got all uppity about that. I was like, that's not right. And according to what the Bible says, before the rapture happens, one Babylon the Great has to fall. Two, the mark of the beast comes out and there's a great falling away and the man of sin is revealed. Three, God is going to say, blessed are those who die in the Lord from henceforth. And then four, finally, the rapture happens. So anybody who tells you the rapture is going to happen and Babylon the Great hasn't fallen? Now before Babylon the Great falls... The, the, the gospel has to go out to every nation, language, tribe, and people. That's why the Bible says that when the sixth seal of Revelation, which is also Babylon the Great, falls, that every man, rich and poor, um, slave and free, the generals of the earth, the kings of the earth, the leaders of the nations, are hiding in caves in the rocks and in the dens of the rocks calling out to God. That means they've heard the gospel. And it says everyone is hiding in the dens of the rocks. So when I saw all this hoopla going on about September 23rd, and I knew in my spirit that what those two said, the couple who said the favorable time of the Lord up until September 23rd, something in me, I knew that was from God. But the other person saying that the rapture is going to happen on that day, I was just like, no, it can't happen unless, now that was, let's say, June. I don't know when it was, but let's just say it was June. That would mean that in July, August, and August, and the beginning of September, one, the gospel would have to go out to all the world. Two, Babylon the Great would have to fall. Three, the mark of the beast would have to come out. There'd have to be a great falling away, and the man of sin would have to be revealed before September 23rd. Then the rapture could happen. And I was like, that's not, that can't all happen all, 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 no. So I can't, I, I knew that there's something going on as these end times. And I prayed and I would seek God and I worshiped the Lord. And the Lord told me, he said, make this announcement. As of September 23rd, the gospel is out. That's what he told me to do. And I got like 500,000 views on that video. Well, 300,000 views. That's enough for me. That's more. You know what? I got more views on that video than there are 144,000. If I had just got 144,000 views, I'd at least walk around thinking, maybe all the, the 144,000 with the seal of the gold. Maybe they all saw that video. Whatever. The point is, 
I know Jesus is the Lord. Time is running out. Hallelujah. Praise God. Woo. <laughs> and the good thing is, all the haters that came out, was like, you're a false prophet. You lied. Nothing happened on that day. How do you know nothing happened? What if God said from the heavenlies, the gospel is out? And you didn't hear it because you aren't even close to God. <laughs> this is so true. So true. <laughs> so here's the deal. Now that the gospel is out, the next event in history is Babylon the Great will fall. That is the sixth seal of Revelation. And after that, the mark of the beast will come out. There will be a great falling away. The man of sin will be revealed. That's the Antichrist will be revealed. And then there will be great persecution of those who do not take the mark of the beast. And I don't say great persecution to Christians because the Bible says there will be a great falling away. Many Christians are going to take the mark of the beast. The Bible says... When persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. That's in the parable of the sower. And then Paul says, Let no one deceive you by any means regarding the day of Christ and our being gathered unto him. That day will not come until first there be a great falling away. Rebellion. Two different translations. One says great falling away. The other says rebellion. And the man of sin or the man of perdition is revealed. And then it goes on to describe the Antichrist. So the Antichrist will be revealed. There will be a great falling away before the day of Christ in which we are gathered unto him. So before the end time events can start, the first, the kickoff event, okay, just to put it in plain terms, the kickoff for the end times is the gospel is out to every nation, language, tribe, and people. And this summer, if you lived in Oregon, Washington, California, the sky was turned to darkness because of fires. And I mean in some places so thick that it was darkness. My dad said in Oregon, he experienced a nuclear winter. And I didn't even ask him about it. He just called me in, in conversation. He's like, guess what to happen today? He said it was 50 degrees out. And he said that the local people told us that it's a nuclear winter. There's so much smoke in the air that normally it'd be 95 to 100. And it was 50 degrees and it was chilly and he had to wear a jacket. It was so cold. Where normally he's wearing like a t-shirt, shorts, and flip-flops. he said it was so cold it felt like almost winter. He said the sky has turned to darkness. And then what happened on September 28th? A sign from God saying, guess what? The sky was turned to darkness and today, September 28th, the moon is turned to blood. The gospel, you got one guy who's saying the gospel is out to every nation, language, tribe, and people. And unless you're a dummy, you totally disagree with that. The, the dummies disagree with that. Oh, but how can you say the gospel is out to every nation, tribe, language, and people? Meanwhile, my video, this video can be viewed in every nation in the world. Every nation. This video that you're watching. Matter of fact, when I go to my analytics page, it can tell me that I get 75% of my views in North America, you know, 60% of my viewers are men, you know, and the other 40% are women. I mean, it'll break it down for you. It'll even tell you I got five views in, in France and 20 views in England and 11 views in Australia. Oh, yeah. And you're going to stand here. You can't prove that the government is. I don't know. I'm going to call my own people. And then they call me a false prophet. Not recognizing the signs of the times, you, I'll, I'll, you know, if somebody came to me and said, yeah, there's a tribe somewhere in Papua New Guinea that's never heard the gospel, my response would be, how do you even know that they've never heard the gospel? 
The fact that you even know that there is a tribe there is proof that somebody else knows too and probably was sent at some point. And, and you know what the Bible says? I was reading this just today. Jesus said if you go to a town and those town people, the first person you meet, if they reject you, that means that you're to walk away. Just walk away. Just clean yourself off. Wipe the dust off your feet as protest against them. That means that that whole town, nobody heard, the, heard what you had to say. But you were sent. And one person can mess it up. For, and Jesus talks about unrepentant cities. I'm just saying the whole town. One idiot on the, on the outskirts of town just rejected a prophet of God who was sent to him. One idiot. And the whole town perishes. Because one dummy. You false prophet, I don't like you, you're wrong. Go on, go on to the next town, you see. You, you, you ain't from God. <laughs> just saying. That's exactly what they do. They're accumulating. Listen, anybody who doesn't know and is not familiar or acquainted with the power of God or the Holy Spirit and rejects a prophet of God who's speaking God's word, <laughs> and then you claim to be a Christian, I'm telling you, Jesus is Lord. Time is running out, and there ain't no hope for you. 